On sale now, one of one. Old rusty Flowmaster muffler. Welded JRC 54 by me. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> Just kidding guys, check this one out. What's up guys? So I got a pretty cool well job here and uh, just got to thinking I gotta throw this one on here for you guys real quick. Uh, just broke out the MIG welder. I just wanna take you guys through some of the steps that I do, kinda how I prepare, you know, some of the settings and all that stuff and uh, you know, some of the little things I do. Um, got a, uh, what is this thing, a 2008 F-150. The guy, uh, the guy had this, this tiny little uh, Flowmaster muffler on here. Um, I went ahead and cut it off. It was, got pretty rusty. Some of the tips were fell, fell off, but it was a single in, dual out. Got the tips here, looking pretty good. I always like to line them up first. I'm using a little bungee to kind of hang it, you know, make sure everything's symmetrical with both sides. I get the little tape measure and I measure, you know, how far out and how straight they are. You know, that's kind of step one. Make sure everything's where it's going to stay because when you go to weld, you know, it's welds permanent. So. He's got a few little all the rust issues on it, but this is uh, stainless, so you know sections are still going to last him. And then he ended up getting a better. Uh, we ended up getting him a better uh, floor master, big one for trucks, the correct one for this one. I'll leave. Uh, I'll leave a part number on this one on the screen, or better yet, I got the box that came in right here. It's uh, the Super 50 series. I knew that much, but there's the part number on it. 8530552. It's that uh, three inch in, two and, a, uh, two and a half out. But they sound pretty good. I like uh, I like Magnaflows on trucks, but uh, you know these are cool too. I like how it's got the black. It's painted black. That just makes it a little harder to weld. But you guys will see that. Um, but yeah, I got it all set up. <clears throat> I like to always put the exhaust on a little bit of an angle for water reasons. Um, plus, when they sit totally flat, it just makes the tips weird so with the leaf springs and all that stuff so I put a cool little angle on it I normally do that though just for room make sure the drive shaft clears and all that stuff but I'm gonna get you guys set up I got this little area cleaned off on here I'll show you guys how I kind of get prepped up how I set the MIG welder uh, you know testing the metal and seeing where my temperature needs to be and the wire speed and all that stuff alright guys so real quick before we get you set up on the tripod just want to show you guys how I kind of get this prepped got it plugged in you always want to make sure your grounding points are clean get the clip down there grounds important very important I got the surface clean you know the cleaner the surface the cleaner the welds gonna be um, get this thing turned on make sure the regulator didn't get bumped and my settings are good on here um, I like it a little higher than the next guy that looks good usually don't have to mess with the regulator too much I'm going to jump over here and clean off this tip. All right, I'll show you guys how I clean this up. Get a little out. I got the gas on right now. Probably should turn that down a little bit. Got that. Starting off pretty clean there. Tip's nice and clean. Make sure there's no slag on there or anything like that. And then we got this. I always just take a pair of dikes and just clean it out. Make sure there's no slag in there. Pretty clean.
All right, guys. So I got a new, I got it all set up, all cleaned up. Always wear eye protection, a mask, or something to protect your eyes. Just throwing these on real quick, just to lay a bead here real quick. Make sure all my temperatures are good. Always like to double check, test it first. Let's see how these turn out. There it is, guys. You can see at the R there, it got a little hot, probably a weak spot on the on the muffler. Got a bunch of slag, probably, uh, I'm gonna dial at the back a little bit, uh, probably the temperature and the wire speed, just try to slow down on some of that slag, but you just, you just hit that with a wire brush, you know? Point is just stay consistent, make the beads join together. You can see on the four there, it skipped a little bit, but, quick demo there but I'm gonna get ready to weld these up maybe show you guys before and after what it looks like um, we'll see if the welder is gonna cooperate today and give me a decent weld see how steady the hand is today catch you back in a minute
All right, guys, so I got it all finished up. You can see I cleaned it up with a wire brush. Usually I don't care, but since I'm putting this on YouTube, got it all cleaned up, got it around. It took a while for me to get the welder, everything set on the welder. You know, I mean, no excuses. I, I'm not the greatest when I weld upside down. Um, but you know, just kind of show you, you see I kind of got hung up on this side a little bit. It's still strong, it's not gonna leak. Did all the way around. Then I got the back side. These turned out pretty good. You can see that side, pretty decent, consistent. Basically just wanna keep it consistent all the way around. Nice thickness, nice beads. Keep the tip moving. See I got hung up down there at the bottom. Kind of bad angles, you know you got hot coal flying on the top of your head, all that stuff, you know, but turned out pretty good. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to throw one out there real quick for you. You know, I, like I said, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's basically just melting two pieces of metal together with metal, you know, um, always wear protection, eye protection, you know, whether it's melding, welding mask, sleeves, gloves, all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I get burnt, make it fast. Um, you know, probably putting this thing on YouTube, I probably should have had my welding mask on and gloves and everything else, but just more or less the same sense. Just wanted to show you guys kind of the process. Obviously, keep the tip clean, you know, adjust everything. You know, always going to be adjusting the regulator, different types of metal. You're going to have different speeds of the wire coming out, different voltage. You know, you'll want to turn it up with the thicker metal and things like that until you find that perfect consistency with, uh, with the weld and your speed and all that stuff. But... You know, I've got this thing all set for the customer. He's pretty sure he's gonna be happy about it. The tips are pretty even. You can see he's sticking out. Um, you know, in a perfect world, yeah, I would have liked to maybe do the tailpipes and the tips too, but you know, I'm sure this thing's gonna sound good. It's uh, not hitting anything, pretty close, but make sure everything's clear before you weld anything. Make sure it's not hitting on anything. So. But that's it guys, just a quick one with the old thermal arc MIG welder I got. Had this thing for a long time. Um, you know, constantly adjusting this thing, but you know, she still gets the job done. I like it. I've looked at other welders and you know, I wanna start welding aluminum and stuff like that, but you know, this one, this one gets the job done. These things are, you know, they're not too cheap, so keep this one around as long as I can. But all right guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. As always, like, comment, subscribe. You know, this, uh, if you could weld, put better weld down, hey, good, great for you. Give me your channel name, make a video of it so I can check it out. You know, other than that, it's a decent weld. You know, like I said, it's, uh, you know, standing over a weld and being able to, to hold it steady and get the weld, you know, yeah, you lay a nicer bead, but when you're underneath the thing, you know, welding upside down and got the arm stretched out. I don't know if you guys noticed I was welding with my left hand. You know, you gotta get in there. You gotta, however position you gotta get into, you gotta get in there and get that well taken care of. So I think it turned out pretty good. I know it's gonna last a long time for the guy. It's not gonna rust. You clean it all up and call it a day. But uh, wrap it up. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.